What's going on guys, WinValley20 here back with another diecast review and today I got my first 2017 cup race version in. Onto the diecast, well we'll start off with the box, but uh, you got Brad Kozlowski Atlanta race version box, 2017 race winner. Again, very similar to the Kaz Growla box, uh, just with the different logos there. Back there with the race schedule, on the side the production number. Brad Kozlowski, Auto Trader, Atlanta win, one of 709. And back to the front. So on to the stuff that comes with it. Get your green race winner sticker. Get your uh, couple pieces of confetti there. And your race winner card. Brad Kozlowski, March 5th, 2017. Started 5th, led 21 laps, and won by half a second. That's 22nd Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series win. On the back, Brad Kozlowski wins the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. So, on to the car. So, we'll start from the front, as always. So, this race version is awesome for one reason and one reason only. Atlanta Motor Speedway. Of course, with that old surface, man, it chews up them tires, something serious. And uh, a lot of rubber flying around. So, this car is just covered in rubber buildup and it looks awesome. So, the nose here, again... That's pretty much all you see there is the rubber buildup. Um, but yeah, you can see it there all across the uh, the nose. You got some marks there on the grill, some tape and whatever. But uh, we'll zoom out here and give you a look at the hood. Oh yeah, yeah, there you can see it real well there. Looks awesome. All that rubber buildup. Auto Trader. A good bit of confetti there. Uh, most of the confetti is just on the hood. So a look at the engine in here. Underneath you got Auto Trader powered by Ford. So look at the windshield right here, got the Monster Energy banner, a couple of pieces of confetti here and there. Um, again, look at this rubber buildup. Man, does that ever look cool. Uh, hopefully it looks as cool on camera as it does in person. So you got this rubber buildup all over the A-post here and on the top, top of the hood there. I think it just looks so cool. It looks really, really neat. There you go, there's a real good view of it. So down the left side, uh, kind of brings me to my first issue. I've talked about this before, but I just think the, the brake dust looks like crap on, on the, the wheels. Uh, we'll compare this to the reference photos. Just, I mean, there wasn't even really much brake dust there. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. You know, you would think they could do a little bit more accurate of a job. Uh, it just looks way different. Instead of, like, just making these dark... You know, the part of the rims were like really dark. I don't know why they can't just shade the entire rim there a little bit. But um, compared compared to the reference photos, ugh, I'm just not a big fan of it. I, I'd never think, I'd, I've never thought that they replicated the brake dust very good on the rims. But uh, that's just me. Uh, going down the left side here. Again, you can see that rubber build up real good down the side. Beautiful looking paint scheme too. The orange looks really good. The orange and blue all the way down here. Auto Trader. You got uh, some sort of something going on here in the left rear. But uh, we'll go ahead and go to the top. So there uh, it gives you another look at the rubber build up there on the front of the roof. And a couple pieces of confetti there. Roof, flap, roof flaps function. There we go. There we go. Alright. You got Keselowski there on the name rail. We'll go ahead and go to the back. So on the back here, Auto Trader. You got a couple little marks there on the left. Left rear quarter panel. You got Worth. And the number is 220. And of course, got to mention this beautiful looking spoiler. And it is a little bit goofy. Uh, I don't know how well I can show you this. Okay, here you go. So you can see it it hangs a good bit like off off this this left part here. And on the right side, it hangs as well. Let's try to focus this. There you go. That'll give you a better look at it. So yeah, so it kind of it really doesn't, the deck, the whole like deck lid does not fit very good back here. And as you can see, it's real bad over here. It just, it just kind of like hangs in midair. So I guess it makes it easier to pick up the deck lid. But, um, but yeah, the whole like deck lid like really does not fit very good back here. It was kind of the way with the, the Hamlin. Uh, really the only car, the only other car I have so far this year that has the correct spoiler. Now I'll show you this. Here's the back of the Hamlin car, just for comparison. Uh, left side looks perfect, right? It's it's on there good. Uh, the whole like deck lid part sticks out a little bit more than it should. Um, but this right side, uh, the spoiler sticks up a little bit, and you can see the the big uh, 
yeah, it, it really does not fit good here on this right side. So, uh, just something to note there. Uh, definitely fits better on the Hamlin car, but yeah, not a big fan of how the spoiler kind of sits there. But, uh, hey, hey, at least we got it. So down the right side here, down the right rear, got a bunch of rubber buildup. All the way down, back to the right front. So uh, we'll go ahead and zoom out and give you... 360 of the car here, but yeah, man, this is a this is a beautiful race version. Um, you know, not very beat up, but you got some confetti on it, and the rubber buildup looks awesome on this car. I will tell you that, especially right here on the front. Uh, when I got that, and I looked at it. I, I thought that was really badass looking. It looks uh, really really cool. But um, but yeah, so here's the main car, and here's the main problem I have with it. Are you ready? Are you ready? You probably you probably already noticed it. You're gonna you're gonna wait to see if I said anything. So. Here's the problem. <laughs> I've had a lot of people actually complain about, um, you know, not all four wheels sitting sitting right on the ground. And I was, you know, I've, I've had it before uh, when, you know, I've had it a couple times, but not very often recently. And all of a sudden here I get this car and man, one of the rear tires is not sitting right. Uh, I'll tell you that much, because I don't know if you know it, it's like the whole review, the, the whole thing was just wobbling and weebling, and, uh, and yeah, so I guess, uh, yeah, but yeah, luckily, you know, most of my issues with this car, it's probably only going to be with this car, you might get a couple other ones, but uh, 9 chance out of 10, if you get one of these, you shouldn't have this weeble wobbling issue. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, so far with the two different spoilers. Again, the, the deck lids, they do have them sitting pretty goofy so far this year. So, um, especially with this really short spoiler, you know, if it, if it sits off there a little bit. It's really not going to look great with that little spoiler if it doesn't sit all the way around and, and sit down on that back part perfectly. But, um, but yeah, there it is. Again, just a simple couple little issues there. But, um, but yeah, unfortunately, like I said... Uh, with Lionel, you're bound to get a car like this every once in a while. It sucks, but what can you do? So there it is, guys. Overall, a really good looking race version. This is a really cool race version. Again, the rubber buildup is is just so cool for me. It makes the car. I think it looks so good on this car. But um, but yeah, that'll do it. Like I said, I got this one from Farner's Racing Collectibles. Uh, I got that one in the Cavs Growler race version. So uh, hopefully. Uh, we should have some really cool cars coming up. I know we should be getting some more race versions, and I know that the Do USA car uh, for Dale Jr. should be coming in next week. I am so excited for that car. That might be one of my favorite paint schemes of all time with just the shade of blue uh, they got on that car. I'm so excited to see that in diecast form. So that'll do it for me, guys. Like I said, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did. It helps me out a ton, but that'll do it. Appreciate y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.